Hey there, YouTube. Mr. Fedora Man here, back again with the next part of Let's Play Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. So, we left off in this conversation. So now that, uh, now that the next part has started, let's continue on here. When the reinforcements rode into Carcino, you were nowhere to be seen. We thought perhaps the enemy forces had reached you, and... It's good to see you well, my lord. So yeah, they presumed him dead. I'm sorry to have troubled you. But remember, the duty I bear is a harsh master. It will not let me die easily. Of course. Prince Inns. Yes? Uh, ugh. What word do you bring of Freelia? Speak. Yes, your highness. Freelia has invaded Carcio and engaged the traitor's Pablo's mercenary army. Ooh. Wow. With aid from Elder Clint, we are crushing the foe where we find them. Sweet! Pablo's faction is retreating ever southwards toward Jahana. Towards Jahana? They must be planning to join with the Grotto forces there. Pardon me, but I must know. Do you, ha uh, do you have word of my brother? Yes. Prince Ephraim is forced to surrender from Grotto's fortress at Ridgewald. Ridgewald. Yeah. He is now marching onward toward the Imperial capital. Toward the capital. That fool, Emperor Vigard himself and his Imperial Guard are in the capital. It's too strong a force, even for Ephraim. No, I believe in my brother. I know he fights still. This bracelet tells me so. Magical bracelet? Ah, Erica, is it time to go already? That I shall. We're going to break through the grotto lines and join the army of Jahana. You should keep to the rear where it's safe. No, I will stay with you. Confronting evil boldly is the sworn duty of any ally of justice. And it may be that grotto's goal is the stone of Jahana. I cannot stand by and let it be destroyed. That I shall? Where did you come by such information? Hmm? That, uh, well, the, the wind whispered to me in the night. The wind whispered to you? Yes, that's right, and according to that gentle breeze, there are knights riding this way from Rostin even as we speak. If we can but hold out until they arrive, the battle will surely be ours. Come, Erica, let us be on our way. Wait a moment, Laurachelle, who are you? Yeah, who is she? Crazy bitch. Should be arriving any time now. Are you ready, AS? AS? Maybe? That's it? Hmm. Everything's in place. This Princess Erica supposedly defeated General Glenn. I wonder if it's true that she's a force to be reck or that she's a foe to be reckoned with. And no doubt. Still, there's no reason to worry. I can best her. I know it. You'll take her. I've no fear. We fought as mercenaries together, and I know what you're capable of. I could search the continent over and not find a man to match your skills. I'm honored to hear you say that. I have no interest in the titles and trappings of Grotto's Imperial Army. Don't say that. You're glad you came with me, right? You know we were both sick to death of living like desert rats. I'm going to be a king one day. This war is just the beginning. Ah, uh, it starts again. Word has it that the Knights of Rostan are riding from the north. They're mine. I can trust, uh, I can trust this mess to, to your capable hands, can't I, Aeus? You remember what they called me when we were mercenaries, don't you? I was never once wounded on the field of battle. Not once. My skill is not garnished and loud like yours, but I've never known defeat. Yes, that is true. I'm dependent on you, Aeus. All units prepare for battle. Oh shit! That's a lot of units. Holy Christ. Princess Erica, the enemy is arrayed before us. We've heard that Pablo's mercenary army is closing in from the rear. You must be cautious. All we have to do is hold them off until the Knights of Rostin arrive. If we can do that, victory is as good as ours. Let's get started, shall we, Erica? Indeed. So, yeah. So, we've got two options for this chapter. We've got one... Survive until, um... Survive, I believe, 11 turns? Or just kill Aeus. But Aeus is heavily guarded. And I don't recommend, you know, trying to get clustered by him there. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I can choose one more unit, but I'm not quite sure. You win, maybe? Ugh. Lot of shell. So I'll probably be training a lot of shell and you and off, uh, off screen. And any other units I plan to use, you know. Just for the sake of it. Wait, I want to check the map. View the map. Damn, son. 
they have anything good on them, like any loot. Ooh. Well, Aeus has a Knight's Crest, so I definitely want to go for Aeus. So that's going to be my goal. I'm going to try and break through the line here and kill Aeus. Because <clears throat> it's either... It's one of two things. Either kill Aeus or wait the turns. And I think I really want that Knight's Crest. So killing Aeus might not be a bad idea. Thing is, I've got to be careful with who I choose. Who I don't know. Uh. Ugh, I really don't know who to choose. You know what? I'm just gonna stick with this. How good is... Oh, damn. Maybe I should've stocked up on some, uh, some supplies before heading right into this, but... Uh, any items I can get from... Oh, it's supply. Okay, there's a, there's a killing edge, so give... Iron sword, take... Killing edge... Maybe? Yeah, I think I'm gonna be good like that. So let's do this. Um, uh, check the map once more for formation, because I want to get someone who can take out this ballista. Mainly because that ballista is gonna be a pain in the ass. Let's get Amelia to take care of it. Um, uh, there. This ballista has that much range. I want to keep Vanessa in the back for now. Um, mm, I think that's good. Let's do that. Uh, let's fight. Alright. So yeah, it was 11 turns. Also, there is a unit we can get that will soon be appearing, so you, you want to talk to Erica if you want to get this unit. And he's kind of... A, he, he will hinder you in battle if you don't talk to him. I might use him, might not. I'm not going to say any specifics, you know, until he actually appears on the field. Oh, please tell me I can kill this guy. Damn it. I am say not unless I get a critical, but... Of course, as soon as I, uh, want a critical, it doesn't show up. Ooh, that was pretty good. Yeah, Amelia definitely needs more strength. Helium has a short spear. I just need to hit once. I just want to take out that ballista, that's all. Does Ford have a javelin? Aw, oh, yeah. Javelin time, boy. Oh, almost. Almost. It almost worked. Hand axe time. See, Ross is going to be invaluable for this little bit here. He's gonna be racking up the kills. Axe level increased to what? S? Oh damn, okay, now he's good at everything. Because look at this, look at all these lance guys here. And then all, these guys are pretty much all lances. Yeah, these guys are all using freaking lances. Except for these, um, what are these called, rangers? Right, the rangers are the only ones with swords. And so does AS. AS is actually so I want to take him out with a uh, an axe first because he's got he's got all types of weapons. He's got sword slayer, so he can defeat swords. He can defeat axes, and he can I don't know. I'm just you know he's just a very well-rounded fighter. And the time has come for Gilliam to become a beast. So we could make him a great knight. So knights with great mobility and defense, and they ha great knights are actually really good units, and they have uh, um, they have the use of all three of the weapon triangle. But generals also have that, but they are just like the knight; they're a big tank unit. Plus, they have a skill which is great shield. Now, if this activates all damage, no matter how, like if it's gonna hit, be a critical or hit doesn't matter what it is, that damage is going to be nullified. So it's a very good skill, but it's not on a... It can't be directed on a whim, obviously. So it can save your ass a couple times, but I mean, Gilliam probably won't need it, considering he's a beast. 
So I'm going to make him into a general because I need a tanking unit. So from knight to general. Aw, oh, yeah. Whoa, man. I don't know if you noticed, but see, look, now they can... Not, generals can use axes, lances, and swords. So... Very diverse tanking unit. Can I use this? Damn it, I can't. I could go around from the side and flank them. That's what I think I'll do with my magic. I'll go Nemi and Loot will go and flank them from the side. Just don't want to move too close here, because that's an archer. Obviously that's an archer. Um, uh, oh shit, Vanessa's in range. Get up there. <clears throat> Oof. Okay, dokes. Oh, they're always gonna go for Joshua now. I just probably should have thought that through, but Joshua is a badass and will not. He isn't, a, doesn't afraid of anyone. <laughs> so Joshua's in no, in no danger here. <clears throat> and if they do hit, he definitely has pretty good evade and defense, so it won't be too much damage. Not within that. Uh, that Natasha can just heal right up again. Would have rather Ross, but you know. Ross is just going to be wrecking house when we get further up in the rank here. This isn't actually a uh, a big chapter. It's just that you've got forces in closing on from both sides. As long as you're wise with the placement of your movements, it sh or with the placement of your units, and I guess your movements too, it shouldn't be too much trouble. Ooh, it's just, it's a huge force coming towards you, so you've got to worry about that. But then you've also got to worry about the Pablo mercenary force closing in from behind, so you also want to have some, you know, defensive units. So look at that, hand axe, action, yeah, that's right. Whew. That's one ranger down. Oh, that was a real smart decision. You're now gonna get ponified. I'm gonna use Gilliam to take care of that guy. And another Ross doing a critical. Jesus. I think the hand axe animation for criticals looks pretty cool, I gotta admit. Whips it around in a quick circle. See, look at that. What is this useful? Ooh, that means people like Vanessa, right? No. Okay. So they will be closing in from the from the behind. On well, fortunately for us, they're not as uh, good as you think they'd be. So we're pretty safe. Come on, critical! Damn it! I just want to get a critical on you, or kill you, or javelin you in the face. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Just javelin you in the face. So I'm going to bring Vanessa with these guys. Oh, wait. There's a ballista around here, isn't there? No, there isn't. The only ballista was down here. Okay, sweet. So I can bring... I can move Vanessa up here. How much health does Nemi have? Ooh, not a lot. Let's move her up here and then move loot. I have to be careful with loot and Nemi here because they're... They're not so good on defense, but they're very powerful units. So I keep Erica, mm, say here. All right, it's time to show the power of Gilliam. Bam! So I wanted to kill it with Gilliam because they're they're upgraded units. Whoa, just get Ross to wreck house there. No. I'm not gonna do that just yet. Ooh, he got him right in the face with that. Ugh. It's horrible. So let's let Kyle take care of this one. Come on, Kyle. Y yeah! There we go. I need you to get up to an A rank uh, sword so I can uh, 
use that silver sword you've had since uh first seen you on the field. Alright, so let's heal up Joshua. And I think after this next after the enemy makes their movement, I'm just gonna take a break. Cause this is a little bit of a long chapter. Let's put you Yeah, let's put you up on that fortress. That means if they attack you, you'll at least get your health back. Okay, well this guy will finally be dead. Very soon. See, these knights are moving up now, because they're, uh... They know Joshua is weak to lances, but unfortunately he's really quick, and even if they do hit him, he's standing on a fortress, so they can't do that much damage to him. And he's got a really high critical rate. Unfortunately, um, being knights, they're very defense-riddled, so Joshua is going to have a tough time doing enough damage to kill them, but he can certainly dent them. Unless he gets a critical... Which, Jesus Christ. This is the least amount of criticals I've ever seen Joshua get. Usually he's critical like every single turn, but no, nothing. A little bit of trouble here. Nothing we can't pull through though, huh? Ooh, shit. You wanna fight, sir? Come on. Bring your A game. Alright, so these Pablo units are moving up gonna try to put Joshua to... Oh, shit. That's actually a pretty decent chance. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Oh, thank God. Whew. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna murder that guy. Lovely. Just healing up our unit... Or healing up their units. That was a... Wow. That's horrible. Okay. So, in the next part, we will continue and most likely defeat A.S. Get the Knight's Crest, learn more about the story, bada binks, that's the end of recording. See you guys next time.